Hello, today we are looking at timesheet tracking for Jira application, which looks very promising. It tells us that we will be able to track our time, uh, customize our requests, and it has tons of interest, tons of installs. Pricing wise, uh, it has a free tier. It looks relatively cheap. If you go to data center, it has okay prices. Privacy policy wise, seems like they didn't bother to update anything. Reviews seems also positive and let's give it a go. So what we'll do now is we install the application. Let's give it a go. Try it free. Type unsolicited feedback, our cool instance and start the free trial. Okay, I also went to the website of the vendor. Looks like we are capsule. They're doing up, they're doing add-ons, they're doing consulting. So it looks like the app business is not the main uh, business for them. Kind of they try to do many other things. So it looks a bit interesting. There is nothing about security. So let's give it a go. I am in my Jira. I am going to my dev project because I couldn't find any configuration page. So it sounds like it should look just out of the box. So let's say I want to track time for this dev to task. A second. Okay, I'm in the issue view. So let's see if I can find anything related to this application because actually there are no configuration pages, there are no information. So let's probably go to the documentation, see what we can do. Let's probably track some time. We use the dot menu to lock time, work lock. Okay, it's not enabled work lock. Very interesting. Let me take a look at the project. Okay, after reading docs, I found that the only way to access the app is come here to the time sheet. In the time sheet section, I don't know what this. In the time sheet section, I can build time sheet reports. So let's generate. Okay, there is no time locks, so let me create some time locks. So now I have a project which is called Mover Forward, and we have some tasks there. So let's generate, generate the project. So we have, okay, we have a yield project. We have how much time was locked. Let's do current months. The same. Let's do range from, let's say, was two weeks. The same. So it's basically showing us who which project, which issue, what is the issue summary and time spent. More or less we can easily understand the time. So we can see the issues, we can see time spent remaining estimate, original estimates. So theoretically it does the job well, so we can find the time sheets. We can review and so on. So it looks like it's a more or less a view of issues locked in the project. So theoretically if I come to the project, we have our sprint, we have our reports, and we can theoretically find a similar report here. So there is an official report from Atlassian, from you can go to Jira, go to the time tracking report, and you can see the issues, summary, and time tracked, and, and, and time spent. So theoretically, it's more or less the same data, presented a bit better. I would theoretically give it two out of four, mostly because it was very hard to find it. Second, a bit hard to understand. And third one, I'd why I would need to hear timers if I do the reports. They all show me the calendar, which is potentially new. But I'm like, wait, it's three out of four because you can have tons of functionality related to times. See when people log time, who logs the time. You can also choose the project, which is very cool. Yeah, otherwise it looks pretty promising simple to use but it only works for the managers i would say mostly so if you need any other review please let us know thank you very much